Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a little gloomy, I apologize. I've got so many lights on in this room right now. But I'm so excited for this video. I've seen so many mums do it. Well, not so many, but I've seen some of my favorite YouTubers on here do this video and I thought I would jump on the trend and try it out myself because I do have a few that I implement that are different to theirs. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. But first of all, a little disclaimer, I'm not a professional. I don't know exactly what I'm talking about all of the time. So if you disagree with me, that's totally okay. I'm not judging anyone if they do do these things or don't do these things. This is just what I do and what works for me. So I'm gonna get straight into the video and try not to ramble. I've got all of the notes here on my phone. I tried to put on like something in the background. I apologize if that's super distracting. Um, let me get to my notes. So these are basically the parenting styles that I do not follow and don't subscribe to. If you do, that's totally fine. This is just what works for me. The first one is is giving my child junk food or buying junk food. I don't do that at all and I don't think I ever will because I guess I just care about Nalu's health and her well-being and I don't want to see her get sick or getting any diseases or things like that and junk food can do that. I like to feed her the best food that I can that's healthy, that's organic, that's plant-based because I want her to grow up and be happy and healthy without any sickness. When I was younger, I'm not bagging my parents. They don't really know any better but I got fed a whole lot of junk food and I was constantly sick I had digestion issues I had acne when I grew up I had a lot of stomach pains I ended up getting really bad periods when I'm older ended up infertile and I just don't want to see that happen to Nalu so I feed her the best food and even when she's older and she asked me to buy it I'm probably still gonna say no because I don't want to be spending that money on things that will make her sick the second thing is chemicals I don't use use any chemical shampoos, conditioners, body lotions, anything on her. I actually don't use anything besides what are Dr. Bronner's um, Castile soap and coconut oil. That's all I use because there's a lot of harmful ingredients in things say like Johnson & Johnson. When I first found out that I was pregnant, I was like, oh, I'm going to go buy all these things. And then I realized how many chemicals are in them. I was like, I'm not putting that on my baby. And it's okay if you do use those things. Just please do your research um, and know what's best but I don't do that at all. The third thing I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for, I did a TikTok video a while back and dang, I got so much hate for that. I will not tell Nalu that Santa Claus is real, Tooth Fairy is real, Easter Bunny is real, etc. We're a Christian family, we believe in honesty and not lying, as it says in the Bible, lying is not a good thing, lies won't get into heaven, and I don't think it's an exception when it comes to like Christmas time or Easter time to lie to your children about those things. If you do do that, that's totally fine. I'm not judging you. It's just this is what we believe and what we're going to do as a family. So yeah, I think it's good to model honesty to your children and not break that trust because I mean, you're lying to your children for however many years and then they finally found out find out that it's not real and they're like, mom, why did you lie to me for so long? And I feel like that's a really sad thing. Plus as well, it kind of takes away the real meaning of those holidays. So Christmas, for example, it takes away Jesus' birth or Easter, it takes away the fact that he died on the cross because kids care more about those fun, exciting things rather than the real reason. So I really want to teach Nalu the real reason of those, those holidays and what they mean and not distract her with Santa Claus and Easter Bunny. And there's nothing wrong with telling them about it and I probably will tell Nalu about it, but it's more just, yes, this is kind of like a fun made up story. It's not a real thing that I'm going to convince you is real. I grew up not believing in Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy and I was completely fine. I had a great imagination and I'm actually really thankful that my parents did that and didn't lie to me. The third thing is yelling and smacking. This is a huge one that actually is really hard. Not so much the smacking part, but the more yelling part. I think it's really important to model to children that when you're angry at them, you don't remove love. And we see that as adults now, and I struggle with this. So like when Carl and I have a fight, I tend to remove my love and stop talking to him or go to another room or just give him the silent treatment because that's what I'm used to. That's what I grew up thinking that that's, you know, that's what you do when you're angry at someone, you remove 
love and I really don't want to teach that to Nalu. So when she's crying and having a tantrum, I sit down and I talk to her about how she's feeling and these emotions and ask her questions. Obviously she can't reply because she's only one and a half, but it's just good to get into the habit now. Yeah, and then I will give her a hug and usually she'll calm down and everything's fine. Whereas I've noticed a few times I have messed up and yelled at her and she just cries more and has more of a tantrum and doesn't want to be on me. She doesn't want to be near me because I'm installing fear into her. I'm making her feel like she's in an unsafe environment and that's not good for children. It just, it, their brains don't, don't switch back on. Like their brain literally switches off when you yell at them and then they end up doing that thing more. So yeah, that's something that I'm really trying to do is to not yell. Um, we don't smack, we don't use violence because kids tend to learn that when you hit them, then then when they when they're angry at someone they will tend to hit as well so we just try not to hit not to smack we don't use any physical violence in this house it's more of just like a talking through loving approach the next one is time out we don't do time out and I don't think we will do time out I think once Nalu's a bit older and she understands, we're going to do more of a quiet time corner where we will put down like a bean bag and some books and some toys. And if she's feeling stressed and overwhelmed and can't deal with her emotions, then she can go there, she can read her books and she can calm down and then come to us with more of like a calm approach, I guess. And I think that's uh, that should be really effective. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'll keep you guys updated in the future. The next one is not getting dirty. When I was younger, my parents Parents were like, oh, you can't get dirty, you can't go play in the mud, you can't go on the pool with your clothes on, like you can't do this, you can't do that. And that's something that we don't do with Nalu because we want her to explore and have fun and I don't think there should be any limits on fun, even if that means getting dirty. If she's gonna have a great time playing around at the beach with her clothes on in the water, go for it. That means she's gonna have such a fun time and be thankful that I let her do that rather than pulling her away because I can't be bothered cleaning her up after. Afterwards. We will let her go play in the dirt, play in the sand, play in the water, play with her food. Say like there's something left on her plate and she doesn't want it, usually she will like play around and throw it and have fun with it and that's totally fine and we don't have a problem, you know, cleaning her up afterwards if that means that she's going to have a really fun time. The next one is a tough one and that is saying sorry to your child, not, no, sorry, not saying sorry to your child. I try and say sorry to Nalu as much as I can if I know that I'm in the wrong. I want to model to her how to act when she has made a mistake. <laughs> My sister-in-law just walked past the window. Yeah, I wanted to model to her how to act once she has made a mistake or done something wrong. Whenever I do something wrong and I know that I'm in the wrong, if I accidentally yell at her or I accidentally do something or I get angry, I like grab her hands, go to her level and I say, I'm so sorry, Nalu, I didn't mean that. Can you please forgive me? Obviously, she probably has no idea what I'm doing, but it's just modeling to her that good behavior that we want to see in our children as well. The next one is iPads or screen time. So we do give Nalu a little bit of screen time. Obviously because I'm working from home, she doesn't go to kindy. I do two YouTube videos a week. I'm on social media, plus also starting up a few businesses. It's really difficult to like watch her all the time and play with her all the time. I still play with her, but I guess it's good to have that time. If she's like hounding me and I'm trying to edit a video, I'll just quickly give her my phone for like 10 minutes max to watch Peppa Pig and that's it. I won't actually give her my phone if she does doesn't ask for it or if it's not necessary. I won't be buying her an iPad or any technology because I feel like it really takes away from kids creativity and they're not using their brain to think because they're searching. <laughs> They're spending so much time on an iPad not thinking their brains just switched off. So yeah, I just I want I want Carl. Oh my gosh I want Nalu to use her imagination to play to go outside and do things that I did as a kid Because I feel like kids now all they do is just spend time on technology and it's just so bad for their brain So bad for their eyes and yeah, I just I don't think that we will do that with Nalu at all The second last one is co-sleeping. We never co-slept when Nalu was a baby and I think we've only done it maybe three or four times her entire life. So the whole year and a half that she's been alive, we've co-slept three or four times. That is because we love our sleep. <laughs> when she's in our bed, she does not sleep. She is cranky, she kicks, she rolls, and she doesn't sleep, we don't sleep. It's a big mess 
and also we like for her to be independent and sleep in her own bed so that way when she's older we won't have that issue of her coming in and out of our bed. Carl has a full-time job, I do YouTube and social media, blah blah blah. Like I need sleep. I cannot function as a mom <laughs> or a wife or a friend if I don't have sleep. So we really value our sleep time, make sure that we're getting a good eight hours. Nalu has slept in her own bed her whole life and she has thrived off it. She sleeps way better in her bed so I don't think that's something that we will do. And the next one kind of is similar to the not getting dirty but that is making messes. Nalu makes mess. I let her put her toys all over the house wherever she wants. I let her go through drawers obviously that are safe, that have safe things in it. I let her get into the cupboard. When she's playing I don't have any limits on where she can put her toys, what she can do with her toys and I think that really helps with her creativity and learning to play in different areas and take things out of cupboards and explore different objects I think it's really important I don't mind cleaning up mess if Nala is gonna have fun if she's gonna be learning and enjoying that time even if it means I have to clean up the kitchen and her playroom like a hundred times a day that's fine because I want her to grow her brain and learn new things and experience new things and different objects and different ways of playing and I think that's super important to build a child's mind so that is something that we do we don't care if she makes mess we think it's a good thing it's hard it's hard to clean up all the time I mean I kind of just like leave it until the end of the day sometimes and it's just like everywhere but that's all right as long as Nalu is learning and growing that's totally okay that is the end of this video I think I did 10 9 or 10 something like that so those are the things that we don't ex don't subscribe to that we don't follow and I hope you guys enjoyed if you have anything that you want to suggest then leave it in the comments below but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it helped someone that it was informative and I shall see you all in my next video bye Mwah. the camera's super far away <laughs>